Hi friends, you are watching Gate Helpline and in this video we will see question number 35 from Gate Zone 16 question paper. Friends, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get all the latest updates from our channel regarding Gate exam. So question number 35 is what will be the output of the following C program and following given is the C program and the options are A, B, C and D. So friends now we will see explanation to this question. In this question we are given with this C program and we need to find the output of this program. So first of all we will start with the main function. Inside the main function we are having a call to the user defined count function having parameter value as 3. So from here we jump to this function which is having int n as a parameter. So the value of n is 3. So here we are having value of n equals to 3. After that we have static int d is equal to 1. As d is a static variable, it is declared only once. So here we have declared is d equals to 1. After that we have printf statement for printing n. So the value of n here is 3. So we are printing this value to our output that is 3. After that we have a printf statement for printing the value of d. So the value of d now is 1. So it will print 1. So we print in the output value of d as 1. So friends here we will be printing the final output. So initially we have value 3 for n and 1 for d. In the next statement we have auto incremented the value of d. So the value of d will be auto incremented from 1 to 2. After that we have a if condition which is checking n greater than 1. So we can see that 3 is greater than 1. Now this statement results in true. So we came inside the if condition and we have a another call to count function with parameter n minus 1. So now we have another count function which is this. So here we have value of int n equals to 3 minus 1 equals to 2. So now we have value of n equals to 2. After that we have static int d is equal to 1 statement. Here one point we need to notice static variable is declared only once. So this statement is ignored in this function call. After that we have a printf statement which is going to print the value of n. So here value of n is 2 that is from here the value of n is 2. So we print value of n to our final output also. So now we have here 2. After that we have a printed statement which is printing the value of d. So the updated value of d is 2. So here we get the value of d equals to 2 and we print it into the final output as well. After that we have a auto increment to d which results in value of d will be incremented to 3. After this we have a if condition which is which is checking whether n is greater than 1 or not. So value of n is 2. So 2 greater than 1 is a true condition. So we came inside the if condition where we have another call to the count function with n minus 1 as the parameter. So we take it as another function call and we have this value of n here as n minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 equals to 1. After that we have this condition which we will ignore. After that we have a printf condition which is going to print the value of n. So the value of n here is 1. So this printed value of n we print to the final output as well here and after that we have printf condition to print d. So the updated value of d is 3. So it will become 3 and we print it into the final output as well. After that we have incremented the value of d. So the value of d is cancelled and the updated value is 4. After this condition we have if condition which is checking n greater than 1. So here 1 greater than 1 is a false condition. So we are not going to execute the next statement. We are going to print the value of d here. So the value of d here, so the value of d here is 4. 
so we take this value and print 4 and we print this value in final output as well after this statement we return our program counter to this function and after returning here we have this printf statement which is printing value of d so the value of d is 4 so the updated value is printed again into the final output after this statement we have return condition so we return to this function and after returning there is a printf statement and this printf statement is printing the value of d which is 4 so we print this 4 into our final output as well so now we can see that our entire function is completed and then as it is a void it is a void function it's not going to return anything to this function means all the values are printed inside these functions only so this is the final output of this program that is 3 1 2 2 1 3 4 4 4 which is our option a friends for practicing download gate virtual calculator by gate helpline from android play store so as per our discussion answer to this question is option a that is 3122134444 is the correct output of this c program so friends thanks for watching our video please like subscribe our channel and share our videos to appreciate our work if you have any doubt or question please comment below and keep watching our channel for videos like this